Hi, it's me, playing uh, some more Limbus Company. Time for a smoke break, shut up please. Uh, today, we have two new IDs and a new target extraction. Uh, today is August 23rd for me at like 10, quarter after 10 p.m. at night. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have a new W Corp target extraction. We haven't gotten a new W Corp ID since the game came out, so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, what's cooler is that there's a target extraction for Ishmael, which allows you to get the, uh... Molar Boatworks ID if you missed it during the event, which is really nice. Uh, I was not expecting target extractions for characters to feature event IDs, but if they are going forward, then that's actually really nice for new players, and I approve. I like that. Uh, so we have Line 2 Cleanup Agent Hong Lu and Line 3 Cleanup Agent Ryoshu, uh, both of which are a 2 star and 3 star, respectively. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start pulling for them. Starting with, of course, these. Uh, I have two Deca Extract tickets, and I have 900 yellow crates. So if I don't get them with the Deca Extract tickets, I'm just gonna shard them. Because, uh, I don't know, it just feels like it'd be a waste not to do it like that when I have so many crates, you know? So I'm not going to go ahead and waste all my lunacy when I can just get them, <laughs> you know? Alright, let's see. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, which three star that I already have am I getting today? <laughs> let's find out. I lied, my luck is immaculate. I still have to do another pull though, because I didn't get hung with <laughs> Please. It would be very weird to have to shard a two star in this. Excuse me. God, he's so hot. I got a Don. Awesome. I hate her. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was pretty good luck, all things considered. God, he's hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. Ah, uh, that was delicious. Which place should we try next? Why, D.Y.? I merely have followed you on a, out on a whim. You're on your own next time. Ah, uh, that sucks. The child pouted, but the other child's only response was to puff out an apathetic stream of smoke. Oh, right. How's it going with training the new hires? That seemed like an interesting job. Heh. <laughs> More dreary than grabbing lunch with you. Getting regulated to BS. It's exasperating. Now, I'm fairly certain she doesn't mean bullshit. But it would be funny if she meant bullshit. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it feels fresh every day though, doesn't it? You get to see all kinds of different reactions to learning the truth from the newbies. BC. <laughs> Why would you even care about that? If you're so eager to see them react, train them yourself. I'd love to. It's just that it's not the kind of position that an L2 employee can easily apply for. If this is the kind of trash work L3 gets, I'd rather get demoted to L2. The smoking child flicked the butt of her cigarette and walked away, grimacing. Man, that wasn't very motivating, was it? The child, now left alone, smacked his lips and sipped the rest of his drink. Ever since he started working here, he never found any satisfaction with the work he was given. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say that he was simply coasting along and giving little thought to the kind of work he did. It wasn't like he applied to this place because he wanted to. He was just doing whatever the family elders told him to do, drifting into their whims all the way into W Corp. 
Most people would kill for even a chance to work for one of the wings, but it seemed that the family elders had no trouble pulling some strings to get him a position at W Corp. Though it was only thanks to his family that he was hired, it would be incorrect to say that he was unfit for the job. Maybe his diligent martial arts training from home helped. So he had little trouble carrying out his duties at W Corp, but... <sighs> I envy you, Ryoshu. Your work seems more interesting than what I've got going on. The child was probably tired of doing what was essentially the same work yet day after day. Checking out various restaurants near the company building being his only and recently discovered solace from tedium. A colleague of his who joined W Corp at the same time as he did had already risen to L3, her competence clearly acknowledged, while he lagged behind at L2. So that's talking about Don. Ah, <sighs> that's too bad. Guess I'll have to find a place for solo diners for dinner. None of that mattered to the child, however. Because he didn't need to, nor did he want to, be acknowledged. <laughs> she is a lot less hot. <laughs> Gotta be honest. So... What do you think? I get to visit a museum, an exhibition featuring brand new pieces of art every single day. All that for a bit of physical labor. No, no, I'm not expecting an answer. I don't think anyone else would care to look at this writing either. Consider this, a complex, unsimplified, unsimplifiable art critique after a visit to a gallery. There wasn't anything special that drew me to join this company. I didn't find it very exciting either. When I was offered this cleanup agent job, I considered it no different from my usual contracts, except that I'll be guaranteed fixed income. I thought, of course, a corporation of this size, a wing at that, must have stuff to clean up here and there. I didn't care about what they did as long as they didn't annoy me, so I signed the contract. So imagine my surprise. And this train that people take without giving it a second thought, every single day, turned out to be a gallery of arts sculpted with chisels of time. While I was impressed with how well they were hiding this truth from the public, three words came to mind. This is it. In hindsight, I was so absorbed with chasing after and creating my own art that I neglected to appreciate the art of others. A shameful realization. Appreciating others' art expands and deepens your understanding of the art act of creation, regardless of its genre. That was why my recent work had been plagued with vapidity and regurgitation. No genuine, vivid imagination comes forth without a touch of reality. I saw one that used its soft tissues to conjoin two train cars, becoming a new door between them. One that wrapped its flesh around the plush side of the seat, embodying a new chair with extra cushioning. One that is an amalgam of many, taking the shape of a new organism and lurching on. Though I wouldn't classify that as art. Not yet. It doesn't qualify even as a performance art, as there was no intent to create the art behind it. Shambling without intent is, in the end, insufficient to be called art, but is incomplete at best. I butchered them, because the company ordered me to make them easier to clean up. To interfere with the process of involuntary art isn't to my liking, no. But that doesn't happen very often. Besides, there's plenty to be gained from the rest. I enjoyed the company-issued gear, too. Void Curse Blade, Refraction Demon Blade, Dimensional Art Knife. I had many ideas for the name of this blade, but I eventually landed on Dimensional Demon Edge. I particularly enjoyed the part where it drained me when I cut down an incomplete art without proper preparation. Indeed, dealing with works of art without appropriate mindfulness is itself an act of self-destruction. <sighs> would have loved to keep doing that kind of work. Would have even foregone sleep to do so. Shit. What are the higher-ups thinking? It's ludicrous making me babysit these rookies. Look at that guy over there, blabbering on and on. 
Maybe he enjoys this kind of humdrum work. What an oddity. How does he find this interesting in any capacity when solid gold rolls onto the station every single day? If he likes BS that much, he might as well do this whole drivel himself. Heh. <laughs> as if they'd let that happen. Damn it. In at this very moment, I'm missing out. Wow. You know, that fits Ryoshu, wanting to appreciate the art of Love Town, let's say, because we don't have any other specific instances. Uh, but that's only the second time that the uh, narration is being done by the sinner themselves, so that's interesting. Alright, let's check out Hung Lu to start off. Uh, 167, 4 to 6, 32. That is very middling. Uh, <laughs> it's a decent amount of HP, but not enough to qualify as a tank. He's like a mid-between tank and offense, but doesn't seem to have the offense level for it. His speed is only very slightly better than middling, and his defense level is his defense level, so who cares. Energy cycle is a 3 to 11. That's pretty solid for a 2-star skill 1. Uh, gains three charge count on use, and each hit gives him another one charge count. So the big problem that W Corp has, for the most part, is until up tie four, they don't generate enough charge. This one seems to already be bucking that trend a bit, because five charge on skill one is pretty good, even if it is a little inconsistent. Uh, skill two, five to 13, that's pretty standard. Cleanup support on use, gain three charge count, and clash power plus two when shielded. Uh, on hit, gain 3 charge count. At 10 plus charge count, gain 2 charge barrier next turn. Charge barrier is a new thing. Uh, you gain shield equal to triple the charge barrier. Lose 1 after losing shield? After losing charge barrier times 3 shield. Wait. So if you have 2, you lose 1 after losing 6 shield. Oh. So you lose one charge barrier if your shield drops to zero. Okay, shield is basically just additional health. Uh, considering if you're going to win clashes, that's never going to happen. So you're basically getting free shield. If the unit is a W Corp employee, all charge barrier effects activate at charge barrier times five instead of at charge barrier times three. So actually it's ten shield if you manage to activate this. And on turn end, gain a charge count for each charge barrier, and charge barrier and shield gained from it will expire. So, effectively, this is just more charge count as long as you don't get hit, <laughs> which is neat. And this skill already gives him six, and at ten, he gains two more. That is an absurd amount of charge gain, uh, but I guess if he needs to be at ten charge count, it makes sense, right? Skill three, that is a five to fourteen, which is not great. <laughs> this is a this is a unit that's really gonna struggle with clashing. On use at ten plus charge count, consume all charge count to apply. Consume charge count divided by two. Charge barrier rounded down to two allies with the lowest HP percentage. Uh coin three also has inflict three rupture and gain two charge barrier next turn on a hit. So there's a couple of ways you could look at this. If you look at it as gaining sh shield, then this is trash. Uh, if you look at it as giving allies charge, which it does do, this is actually really nice. Because at the end of the next... Wait. No, it gives it current turn. So at, at the end of the turn, you're basically giving your allies... A bunch of charge but spending all of your own uh with specific team members this can be really really good uh specifically rhino mersault and any w corp w corp don let's say that because uh i don't think faust benefits too much from having a ton of charge and uh well mersault only needs five so that's not a big deal uh, Reindeer-ish can also benefit a lot from this. Basically any charge team, uh, you're probably going to want him for the same reason that you would want W. Faust at Uptie 4. Uh, he just provides charge to allies, and that's pretty significant. Uh, defense. 
Gain two charge barrier on use. It's a 10 to 16. That's a pretty decent char uh, block, but you're really only going to be using it to gain charge, so who cares? It gains a current turn. I don't know if gaining charge barrier during the current turn will give you the shield. I'm assuming it will, because otherwise you're just gaining charge that you can't use until next turn. Because if it gives you shield current turn, the skill gives him an extra 10 shield. Uh, if he had a little bit more defense level, then that would be great. Uh, and as a result, he's going to work well with Spy, uh, Faust, and Greg as well. Uh, passives, three pride owned. If at five plus charge count at the start of the combat phase, gain two haste next turn. That is good. Uh, that effectively makes it so that his speed is 6 to 8, making him the fastest... Okay, once he has his passive active, uh, this effectively makes him the fastest unit in the game. Because that'll activate every turn, provided you don't use a skill 3. Because he gains a ton of charge even at up to 3. Uh, support passive. An ally with the lowest speed gains 2 haste next turn, if at 5 plus charge count at the start of the combat phase. That doesn't really matter as much. And the reason it doesn't is because it specifically targets the ally with the lowest speed. Uh, so if that ally doesn't have charge, then you're not gaining anything from this. That being said, you're probably only bringing this guy if you have a full charge team anyways, because, I mean, that's what he's designed to do, I'm guessing. So, I don't know, it seems alright. His clash power really sucks. Uh, so I hope that gets better at uptie 3, but we'll see. Ryoshu! Uh, <laughs> let's, let's go 3 to 6 speed, that's garbage. 26 defense level doesn't really matter, and 134 HP means she has pretty, she's pretty squishy. Uh, but that makes sense with an offense level of 35, which is literally the maximum. Uh, first off, EC, aka Energy Cycle, it's a 3 to 9 which is kind of stinky, uh, but it is a 3 coin, so it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, at 10 plus charge count, deal plus 10% damage, and first two coins give her 2 charge count on hit. That's not a lot. Uh, that's 3 charge count at the end of the turn, so I really hope that this improves on some of our other skills. Also, I didn't even mention it. Uh, this Hong Lu is significant because it perfectly feels Dimension Shredder, which is a charge-based ego. So that's important, and he also feels it. <laughs> so that's nice. Anyways, back to Ryoshu now. I meant to mention that earlier, sorry. Uh, this skill one is kind of average. It's okay. Skill two, leap. That is a two to 17. <laughs> okay. At up to I3, that's a very strange uh, skill uh, range. On use, gain six charge count, and at 10 plus charge count, gain one coin power. So that becomes a 2 to 20. Uh, okay, that's really good. Oh, okay, this skill is crazy. At 10 plus charge count, inflict 1 slash fragility. I mean, she's not fast, though, is the problem. Uh, Queen 3 has, if target's HP is below 30%, deal 20% more damage, and on kill gain 1 haste next turn. 1 haste isn't enough to matter. Uh, that being said... That Slash Fragility will be same turn inflicted at the start of the skill, so the second two hits will gain bonuses from that. Uh, okay. This is really a really good skill, too, at up tie 3. It does so much stuff, it's just getting the charge count is going to be what's hard. And skill 3 is a 4 coin 3 to 11? Ah. Uh. Oh, I see. Okay, so first off, I think it's supposed to be Dimensional Demon Edge Dimensional Rift, which is redundant, first of all, but if that's not it, then I don't know. At 7 to 14 charge count, so it doesn't do anything at 0 to 6? Okay. Consume all charge count and consume 3 times 15 minus charge count consumed H percent HP to gain plus 3 coin power. So let me do the math here. If you use it at 7 charge, then 15 minus 7 means 
That's 24% of your HP, which is a lot. <laughs> but it gives you plus three coin power, which turns it from a three to 11 to a three to 23, I think. That's how the math ends up. Because it's five per coin instead of two. And then if you have 15 or more, you consume 15 to gain three coin power. So this, once you're at 15, uh, then you just don't take the self-inflicted damage. But you need to be at at least seven to gain the coin power. I feel like... See, this is the same issue that Rip Space has, uh, where if you use it without the charge, it's kind of crap. Uh, but in this case, you can take the damage and still gain the boost. But 24% of your max HP is a lot. Uh, that minimizes at 3% if you're at 14 charge. So I'd say if you're at 11 charge or higher, this is probably worth using anyways, because it's not a lot of damage to yourself. Because, I mean, 24% I mean, of 134 is like 30 damage. So, yeah. Skill, coins 1 to 3 have heads hit, the final coin deals plus 5% damage. And then coin 4, if the skill on kill, first off, if the skill consumed 15 charge count upon use, apply 5 charge barrier to self and one other ally. So you're refunding some of the charge you used and giving yourself and an ally some shield and some charge. Uh, that's cool, but killing with that coin is going to be very inconsistent. Uh, defense is a 3 to 13 evade. I like evades. Base power plus 1 per 5 charge count up to 2, so it can become a 5 to 15 at 10 charge or higher. Okay, uh, that's pretty good evade. Uh, it doesn't have a good defense level, but that's fine. Passives, 5 pride owned. Upon defeating an enemy, gain 2 charge count up to 3 times per turn. That's not going to activate a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say it outright. <laughs> and then Dimensional Refraction Edge Type Blades Mark 7, which is a long name. I can't even fit that into an image. Thanks, PM. Uh, <laughs> five Pride Owned. When an ally with the lowest max HP defeats an enemy, they gain two charge count once per turn. This is a pretty useless support passive. Uh, it just doesn't provide a lot because if you're killing an enemy, you're already dealing with the threat, so you don't really need the charge afterwards. Most of the time. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to test it out, which I'm going to do now. Can you guess what team I'm about to run <laughs> in the test run? I mean, to be fair, uh, Don, Mersault, and Faust are going to be fine. <laughs> it's, it's literally a warp katana. And Hung Lu is just lusty again, <laughs> but don't worry about that. Uh, now, the big issue I saw with these guys is that they're a bit slow overall. Wow, struggling. Jeez. This is not a great starting fight. Oh, she's weak to blunt too. All right, we're just going to evade then. That's not a good start at all. Oh, my lord. Hung Lu, please. I kind of need to win some clashes on turn one. Thank you. Oh my god. That is a horrible start. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yeah, that was a terrible start. That's fine, right? I'm really hoping that these IDs are better at up type 4. <laughs> oh my lord! Ryoshu is trash! What the heck? She can't clash for anything right now. And I can't get her any sanity because she can't clash. That's really stinky. Uh, this doesn't consume anything, so I'm just gonna use it. I have a feeling she's just gonna get staggered and die. <laughs> yeah, especially if that happens. Okay, this isn't going well. This, this might not have been the best fight to test them out on. Uh... <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me pick a different fight, how about? Because these guys are not doing great here. I think this will be a bit more up to speed with their capabilities, hopefully. Uh, that being said, there is some major RNG in this fight, too. So let's find out. <laughs> let's find out together, shall we? Uh, hopefully this works out.
Yeah, see, this skill is going to be one you want to save. It's rip space, but better, right? Or kind of worse, actually, now that I think about it. All things considered, yeah, it's worse than rip space. That's okay. We don't need every ID to be the best ID in a faction, right? I just need to actually be able to win clashes. <laughs> okay, she hit somebody. Good. The six charge on skill two is really nice on her. Actually. Like, really nice, in fact. Thank you, energy cycle. I, I do, uh... I'm not really getting to see the animations close up, but they do look nice. Which, I mean, they're warp. Of course they look nice, right? Oh, that guy's dead. I want to see... DD EDR with its uh, max animations, because that'd be cool. So I'm gonna use this again. <laughs> I also need to get Hong Lu up to a lot of charge, so that works out. Look at how high Leap is rolling. Okay, once she has charge, she's very good. Before she has charge, she kinda sucks. Uh, meaning at the start of a fight, she is terrible. That's okay. Wow, how does... <laughs> Everybody who needs the charge has the charge. That's convenient. Uh, I can't use it twice. Obviously. And I'll just use it once. That's fine. Uh, it is going to do a lot of damage. Which is exactly what we want. Provided I actually get to hit with it, because I forgot there was a guy who I wasn't clashing with. Because that didn't take long enough, right? Also, my sanity isn't topped out yet, so I probably should have used the other one first, but that's okay. Yoink. Oh, it did go for the other one first. Sweet. Alright, buddy. You could have at least flipped heads, come on. <laughs> It does give you the shield right away. Okay, that's a niche application. It looks sick. Like, just being able to give your teammates shield mid-turn is super cool. Uh, and here we have Hong Lu min rolling his speed, which is fine. Uh, this fight is over, by the way. There is nothing they can do at this point. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it again. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares, right? Because, I mean, I'm not at 10 charge, but I'm about to be, so that's a free fragile infliction. <laughs> and Hong Lu gains charge super fast, so. Uh, running. Okay. Getting rid of all of his charge for that skill really doesn't matter that much. There we go, that's what I like to see. Didn't kill. Took 12 damage from that. I was two char I was three charge short and it did 12 damage to me. So yeah, the self-damage sucks. Uh I don't think it's bad enough to be worth not using it if you're at 10 plus, I'd say. That was a really easy fight. <laughs> uh so what sucked there was Ryoshu not being able to win clashes in the other fight. Oh wow, damage. Let's check this out. 425. Wow, Faust. How did you take one? <laughs> Is that even a thing that could happen? Okay. Uh, that was after a rip space. I did use her big skill twice. It didn't roll that high, did it? So it's 3 plus 5, which at cap is 23. Yeah, that's not the greatest, all things considered. Her skill, too, is way more reliable, actually. I don't know how I feel about that for a rip space esque move. Alright, so let's find out if they're good at up to four, shall we? Four. <laughs> Sorry. I was expecting so much more from that. So, skill one, you just gain one more charge count on use. Cool. That's helpful. Cleanup support gains one base power, so it becomes a six to 14, which is nice. Coin two can give up to four charge barrier instead of up to two. 
don't know why the entire thing is... Wait. Yeah, the entire thing is highlighted when it should just be the four. And then Deploy Charge Barrier gains one coin power, which is really sweet. So it changes from a 514 to a 517, which is way better. And inflicts two more rupture. Okay, whatever. Uh, guard becomes pride and gains an additional charge barrier. Oh. Combat passive gives him an additional haste at 10 plus charge count. So he becomes a 7 to 9 speed at 10 higher charge, which is really easy to do. Okay. He definitely becomes significantly better at up tie 4, but I don't know if you need it. Well, you, d you would if you run him. You would definitely do that. Uh, I do not have enough thread. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. Uh, it, continuing the trend of this ID is W Corp, and it becomes a whole lot better at up tie 4. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because it just gains charge faster. It gains bo more bonuses from charge. Yeah. And his clash power becomes significantly better. So that's definite need... I'd say. Uh, he's not worthless without it, but his clash strength isn't the best, and that does help quite a lot. Uh, Ryoshu, however, first off, uh, first skill gains an additional 10% more damage at 15 plus charge count. Uh, ideally, you're using any of your other skills while at high charge, because they gain better bonuses from it, but okay. Uh, Leap gains an additional coin power at 15 plus charge. Uh, so 2 plus 7, so that's a 2 to, uh... Is it a 2 to 20 normally at plus 1? 8, 14, 20, yeah, it is. So that becomes a 2 to 23. Inflicts an additional slash fragility and gains 10% more damage on coin 3 and gains... Two more haste on kill. Good god. <laughs> that is a lot of increases. Oh, and it gains an additional charge. Good lord. Who approved this, actually? I might just uptie this to begin with, because this is crazy good. This skill by itself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, skill three. Alright. <laughs> So instead of 3 to 23, it is 3 to 31. And an additional 15% damage on the final thing and applies 7 instead of 5. Uh, if you use this ID, you're getting it to- oh my lord, hold on, we're not even done yet. Uh, 4 to 10 evade, that gains up to 3 coin power. So, four to seven. No, it's a seven to seventeen <laughs> potentially evade, which is kind of nuts. Uh, combat passive gives an additional charge on kill, and support passive gives an additional charge on kill. So those don't matter too much. This is, <laughs> uh, if you use this ID, you are up tying this to four. <laughs> I'm saying it right now. It gains so much from Uptie 4 that it's a little ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> it's really strange to say that Hong Lu's W Corp ID is the one that gains the least from Uptie 4. <laughs> because it does gain a good amount. What is it with W Corp IDs and doing that to me? I don't understand. But yeah. That's my consensus. I think that this ID becomes a, a hell of a lot better at Uptie 4. I think you kind of need it. At Uptie 3, she's still usable, but she's not like W Dawn, where it's still pretty consistent. And another thing to note is that Ryoshu doesn't have a charge ego. Uh, in fact, she doesn't really support any of her ego that well. She's pretty close to getting red eyes open. Healed, and I guess Red Eyes closed, now that I think about it. But she doesn't quite make it, because Pride, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but I still think that this is a pretty solid ID in an all-charge team, definitely. Like, really solid once you get to Uptie 4. 
so that's all of it. <laughs> this one's a little bit shorter because I couldn't win the fight against those other guys, and I won too quickly against Encorp. So that's fun. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and change my company right now. I'm not clearing the friends list because there's not enough people in it. <laughs> so let me just equip them for you all to test out in case you want it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be up tying these to four pretty quickly. So that's fun. Yeah, and honestly, that's the best to go set up for her probably. So there you go. There's the company. So I guess thank you all for watching. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say about these guys. They're they're okay at up tie 3 and they're way better at up tie 4. Like all W Corp IDs, in fact. Uh, there should be a guide coming out this weekend. If there's not, it's because I was lazy and didn't work on it. Because uh, this is my last week of being free from schooling. But, that should be that. Uh, if you liked, then like. If you didn't, then, I don't know, dude. <laughs> uh, but it, subscribing and liking the video helps me out a lot. Uh, I, hope to see you, I hope to see you having a great rest of your day, and I hope you will be back again soon. Bye!